In this lecture, we are going to learn about file operations in C. Why do we need to use files? When we use files, we can store data which can be re-accessed. That is, when you write data to a file, you can re-access that file later on. Writing data into files is more efficient way of organizing your data. Another advantage of using files is that your files can be shared with other programs and other computers. For example, when you create a file in C, that file can be opened in any text editor. So that is how we can re-access the data and it can be shared with other programs and computers. These are main important advantages of using files. In C language, we can perform these all operations over the files. You can create a fresh new file. You can open an existing file. You can read an existing file. You can write contents to a file. You can seek a particular section in the file by traversing to it and you can close a file which is already open. Now let us try to visualize the file system. Assuming these squares are nothing but memory locations. So this could be a starting point of my file and these are data written into those files. All files have a special pointer at the end that is EOF that is end of file. It is the special pointer using which we can identify that file has ended over here. To read a file, we create a file pointer which points to this location. Suppose I'm using a file pointer as file star FP. Then suppose if it is pointing to this location, then using this pointer, we can traverse across all other memory location of the file. We can read contents, we can write content using this file pointer and some readily available functions in C language. Now let us check what are different file modes which we can use to perform file operations in C language. So R is file mode for reading data from a file. W is writing to a file and in this case contents are overwritten. So if your file that you have opened in write mode has some previous content then that whole content will be erased and new content will be written over it. Then there is a mode that is append mode. It adds content after the end of your file. So suppose your file was having data as ABC and you are going to write XYZ to it. So ABC will be written as it is and XYZ will be added to it. Then there are more few advanced file mode that is R plus. Using this mode, you can read existing content. You can write new content to the file and you can modify existing content as well. Similarly, we have W plus. In this case, contents are overwritten like the case of W. In addition to it, you can write new content, you can read back new content that you have written and you can modify existing content from the file. Then finally, there is another mode as A plus in which you can read existing content, you can append new content at end of the file. But in case of A plus, you cannot modify existing content. So these are six different file modes which are available to us in C language. So you can use this mode depending on your coding requirements. Additional important points to remember are mode A, W plus and A plus create creates a new file if specified file does not exist. So there won't be any prompt as such. Those files will be created by the compiler. In the next lectures, we are going to check few programs on file operations. So you understand this concept better. And there are few readily available functions which we are going to use. So the functions and keywords that we are going to use are fopen. It's a function which opens a specified file in the specified mode. fclose is a function which closes the specified file. Get C reads character from the current cursor location. When you open a file, cursor will be at the first location initially. At this location, when you use this function, get C. So data from this location will be given to you and cursor will move on to the next location. Similarly, when you again use get C, then this data will be given to you and cursor will move on to the next location. Then we have put C as a function. So it will write and data to the current cursor position. Once the data is written, cursor will move on to the next location. F get S reads line from the file. So your file usually have multiple lines into it. So it will read line by line. Similarly, put s is a function which writes line completely, unlike put c which writes character by character. Then we have a special keyword eof which specifies end of the file. So when we are going to read these contents, if function returns me eof, then we can assume that cursor has reached end of the file. In the next lecture, we'll check few programs for file operations. So that will make your understanding more clear.